just arrived on the parking space and it's very gloomy very cold it's a church here actually hello church yeah let's go It's so cold, it's so cold. Well, guess what? I'm not happy either. I'm so happy. set myself and the house oh, I just woke up and I still have my makeup on <laughs> so I just thought I would show you my how my Sunday looks like like in a kind of vlog style nothing too structured just let's see how it goes I spilled the tea and I'm using an old sock <laughs> to, to wipe that down. I have to do laundry anyway today, you'll see in a minute. It's a big pile of clothes here next to me. I also had to move myself from the living room because my daughter just woke up and it's pretty loud there. She's playing with the cat and 
if you hear something in the background that's her hey friends happy sunday i've come to really appreciate weekends now well sundays to be exact because i work saturdays as well so sunday is quite sacred to me now yeah. it's a time to reset reflect and kind of get things done on my own pace okay so it's time for some real self-care <laughs> and i've been sticking to this workout routine and i'm really enjoying it i'm just getting dressed right now it's getting so cold outside that i actually lost the interest to go run um but i downloaded this app that a friend recommended to me and i've been doing strength exercises i'm currently on well i did one week almost every day i think i did six workouts uh, but last week something happened in our family situation and i was kind of distracted so i'm starting the week two of this exercise routine i used to be a gym rat like many years and i quite miss that but i don't have time to spend hours in the gym so i'm slowly getting back to the gym routine at home but um yeah i'm not gonna do nothing extreme like i used to do it so but i am loving the muscle pain i am this person who gets addicted to the muscle pain and if there is no i feel like i didn't do hard enough so i i love it <laughs> you can call me a, a crazy person but that's just that's just me i love when I feel that I did something with my body. So let's go, let's work out. It's, it's time. Uh, usually I do those workouts um, during the week when I come home from work. I find it very um, interesting how a little switch of the routine can make a lot of difference in the day. I used to come home and I would just make dinner, eat and then took a big fat nap on the couch. Waking up hours later, panicking. And now what I do is I come home and I start the dinner going and when the dinner is cooking, I do the exercise in between. So I can basically watch the dinner getting cooked and do the exercises in the meantime. And it's very short. Most of the time it's like 20 minutes or maximum 30 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm exercising and I'm actually fully energized after the exercise and I don't feel the need to nap at all and I get a lot more things done like I do the dishes straight after we eat, I vacuum, all these little things that I would used to leave. I'm just so much more productive and it, I'm really enjoying this new routine that I built for myself. This was amazing. Oh. I loved it. I feel like a whole new person. I need to shop now. By the way, I don't know why they're selling cute fluffy beds for cats because they are so happy with just a random box you have laying around. Hey. Enjoying your box? Oh, <laughs> you're unbelievable. You are unbelievable. 
This is his little spot lately. I mean, cats and boxes, right? So I feel so good after that. A little sore, all sweaty. Perfect. Endorphins are going crazy. So what's next? I, uh, shower, of course, and meditation. I I don't I I usually I almost I can I talk uh, normally I would meditate like maybe every other day during the week but the schedule I'm on right now it just doesn't fit my schedule so I usually do the meditations um, uh, in the weekends uh, which means Saturdays and Sundays anyway. I'll shut up and I'll go shower now. <laughs> Before starting this job, I used to have all this free time, but for some reason it was so hard to get things done. I don't know, it's really weird. I would often procrastinate or I would get distracted by small things that, that wouldn't really move the needle, if you know what I mean. But now it's different. I'm having more structured day and it really shows. I am also surrounded by people all day and I must say that I quite enjoy it, which I never thought I would say. And I feel much more motivated to do stuff. I don't know why. I feel like being at home alone all the time, it was not working for me anymore. Despite that I love alone time and being alone, it was just too much, I guess. And then uh, I worked with my therapist on quite a lot of issues. And I feel, more or less, I feel like a new person in such a way that I don't dread being around people as much. You know, I kind of, I kind of enjoy that now. I'm ready for meditation. I'll get myself all comfortable. I want to be warm. I want to be cozy. Welcome to Yoga Nidra. I absolutely am surprising myself for saying that. And it shocks me. Just because being around people used to drain me so much. And I would get home so tired and stressed. And also I was working in a very toxic environment as most of you do probably. I guess after all that work with my therapist, I was, I've was i worked through the issues that were holding me back. And it really feels so light and bright now. It's almost like I'm thriving off this new routine. <sighs> That was amazing. I've been trying to balance everything lately. So one of the things that really helps me is journaling. It's very grounding and it calms me down. So I make sure to, you know, take the time and write in my journal. So I have a confession to make. <laughs> so every time I visit this store with my daughter that is for her school supplies, I just can't help but to glance at the notebook section and I always I always buy a journal. 
I don't know what it is, but I've been obsessed with notebooks since I was a kid. I don't know why. <laughs> I already have three. Well, I bought two new ones. This one is like for sketching, but it has like a it has no lines inside, so it's perfect. And it's like a big book. It's perfect for sketching and as well for the writing. So I, I thought it was a nice change to switch to like a bigger notebook. And then this one, it has like a nice gold edge. Oh, I know it probably is <laughs> nothing special to you, but inside is just a plain old yellow line, uh, line paper. And I still have this one that I've been dying to uh, start using. It's like, uh, it's 365 journal. The days are numbered there, so you get to use it every day of the year. And I'm so excited to start using it in the upcoming 2025. Um, so yeah, these are my guilty pleasures. <laughs> I might do a whole video about journaling and uh, journals and notebooks. Um, if you're interested, let me know down below. I love journaling. I love everything about notebooks. Um, I love writing in general. And I really, really love writing uh, with the fountain pen. I got into the habit to buy a specific, I mean, different 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 colored ink this one is like a light blue but i'm sure i'm probably boring you with this <laughs> i'm just sharing my obsessions so yeah this is my self-love self-care routine of the sunday and now it's time to tackle the chores and do some stuff around the house Okay, so I'm pretty good at keeping the general things tidy during the week. But the weekends are where I do the bigger things like the laundry and and changing the bedding and I also vacuum and mop the space, making sure that everything feels fresh. So I get this nice feeling when I go to bed on Sunday night that I get to have this fresh new start for the week. I have two baskets of laundry to put away. Let's do the wash, wash, wash. Okay, so we are in my bathroom now. It needs a scrub badly. And I have to be honest, bathroom is my least favorite chore of them all. I can tackle anything. I mean, laundry, the dishes, the, the vacuuming or the mopping. Also, I have no problem cleaning toilet, anything. Just don't ask me to do bathroom. Ugh. Most of the time I just ask my husband to do the bathroom for me. I just can't. I can't with all the hair. Um, I have this thing with hair that I cannot see them lay around or oh, putting them out of the drain and... <laughs> I can't even talk about it without gagging. <laughs> Okay, enough said about the bathroom, um, let's move on, because it's not gonna end well.
Um, I'm cooking soup right now. It's pumpkin potato soup. That was quite a day. <laughs> uh, okay, the majority is done. We're gonna eat now and just spend a couple of hours with the family and that will be it for today. The chores takes me longer to make because I have to record everything while I do. Usually before lunch I would go to studio and work on some jewelry but I'm not even gonna pretend that I do that today because filming was taking me just too too much time. But I have something fun prepared for the next week's video. If you're not into that kind of videos that I'm making today, it's alright, I understand. The next video is going to be a jewelry making one. 